Hello and welcome to CS4010, the Structural, Dynamic and Finite Element Analysis. In this tutorial, we are going to study the behavior of a car park when a car is moving on it. So to do that, we need to use the transient structural, not the static structural. And the first step, we click on the engineering data to add up some material. I use the general material to add the concrete. And the composite material to add some specific glass for the wall. You can change the data if you click on this later. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use the default uh, properties. Now, we are moving to geometry. To do the geometry, I can use the uh, uh, previous geometry when I draw for our car park in the previous tutorial. Here is our space claim. I just use the file and open the shape geometry from the previous tutorial. Here it is. So here is the wall and the beam and the floor. And the thickness of the wall is 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.02 meters, that means 2 centimeters. Another way to import uh, geometry is we are going to right click on geometry and import it. And blow this. So I click on the folder where I store and you can see that is already imported. In, in this tutorial, we focus on the model. So we double click on the model to open the interface of mechanical, which is transient. So here is our geometry. In the first step, I would like to add up the gravity force. So I have to use uh, standard gravity and then I change the direction to minus y now I generate the mesh to have a look on how it look like so here's your car park now I need to add up some fixed support so I click on fixed support and use the point selections to select every single column and then I click apply now we need to add the static um, load which caused by the cars which already parked in our car park however the worn brief prevent us from selecting it so we have to hide them so select them and F9 to hide them now I go back to transient and I add some pressure the pressure can be added on the car space only not on the driveway and I click on apply and I change the magnitude to 4,000 Pascal, that means about 400 kilograms per meter square. And I just renamed it to static, so I will not be confused later. Now I create a new uh, dynamic uh, pressure, which is 4,000 Pascal. And this load will move from one end to the other end of the car park. So I have to change the setting of the analysis to have it for 5 seconds, not 5 steps, 5 seconds. So that's only 1 step and 5 seconds. And I add up the interval for this. So for number 1, this would be 4000 Pascal. For number 
is going to be zero. And I change the value to get the respective diagram you can see on the left hand side. And I duplicate it to get it moving. In the next step, I applied on another plane and change the time step to get it moving. And I keep doing that for another plane until the last plane. Now I already have everything and what I need is I have to add a solution for the total deformations and the maximum of the principal stress. And I also can add up some beam tool if I don't want to add them by hand and click on solve. After a few steps of calculations, I have the simulations of the behavior. You can see that the maximum uh, deformation is in the middle span and the car park uh, deform by the way the car move on it. Thank you very much and see you next time.